Hi guys, it's Mina Villegas. Welcome back to a very special episode. Um, tonight we are actually shooting inside what will shortly, hopefully, be our new studio. Um, we've been in the process of building this for about a year and a half and there's been some challenges and, you know, the pandemic didn't help. <laughs> but we're getting very close, but it's starting to rain outside now and I can't pour outside on my table in the rain, so we're shooting inside, which I'm very, very excited about, and I hope you guys will enjoy this. It's actually very nice to not be in the wind and in rain, obviously, so <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. The other reason tonight is very special is because we are uh, doing a pour inspired by a lovely, amazing, upcoming artist named Julie E. She has a YouTube channel called Acrylic Painting with Julie E. She's an awesome person and she did a pour that just totally jazzed me and I saw it and I was like ah! And uh, so we're gonna be doing that tonight and I would love it if you guys could go check out her channel because she's really funny. She actually did a collaboration last week with Jeremy and Lee Massey from Massey Art Studio. Their Harry, Harry Porter <laughs> collaboration was really cute with the three different houses of uh, Hogwarts and it was awesome. So make sure you guys check that out. I will link that up here for you also, but go check her channel out. So the pour that we're recreating is funny actually because she was inspired by eyelashes, which is one of my pours, <laughs> and also by a pour that the, the Spicy Boys did, their Lord of the Rings pour with that same wandering ring pour. So it was kind of cool because it's kind of come full circle now. You know, and uh, so, but she did a variation on it, which I want to try tonight, which is awesome. So that's what we're going to do. This is a 24 by 36 inch gallery wrap canvas. I have taped the back and put the push pins in. Actually, HOA did it tonight. Thank you, darling. And now uh, let me show you my colors real quick. So the first one we are using is Artist Loft Silver. And we are back to my normal pouring recipe. <laughs> Two ounces of Liquitex gloss medium, about an ounce of paint, and between six to 10 ounces of Floetrol. And the reason this works is because that gloss medium and varnish has polymers in it that bind to your paint and hold your cell structure and hold your lines. So mound on a mound and then sinking. We also have Golden's Payne's Gray, which is an amazing color and it dries nice and dark, like a really, really deep navy. Just beautiful, beautiful stuff. This one is Liquitex Professional Series and this is the permanent blue violet. Really, really pretty color. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, next we have, this is also Artist Loft, metallic cobalt blue. Which is just, look at, I mean, just look at that. <laughs> it's so pretty, I love it. Say hi, baby. Okay, we also have Amsterdam titanium white with a squirt of the DecoArt Americana Decor Satin Enamels in pure white. And now our flow extender was the same as that, the Amsterdam white with the deco art in it. But I started thinking about it and I didn't want those little pin pricky white cells coming up because we used a white base coat. So I have added just a splash of our deco art Americana decor 24 karat gold to it. And now it's become this like beautiful sparkly kind of honey color. So this is the regular white here and this is the one with the gold into it. So I think that's gonna be really neat. And there is no other gold in this painting. So we only have it in our flow extender color, which I'm also gonna pour into a puddle of. Okay, so I thought about doing with this with a split cup. I was watching Misato, one of my videos with the, the wandering ring pour with the split cup, which was really beautiful. And uh, I thought about doing it with a split cup, but I think I would rather layer both cups at the same time so I can make sure I have enough paint for both because it's harder to tell in the split cup how much paint you've got in there. So let's go ahead and get started with this. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of white in the center of both of these, just a very small amount. Okay, and now we're gonna come in with our Payne's Gray. Put some silver in there. And I'm gonna bring in that permanent blue or permanent blue violet. Yeah. Let's 
squeaky glove. <laughs> Canelo is so funny. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go back to the white this time. Put some white in there. Okay, now we're gonna use our metallic cobalt. the silver. And some of that paint's gray again. We did silver, let's do white. white and the silver to break up the other three colors. Okay, so these are two 16 ounce cups and that is a 24 by 36 inch gallery wrapped canvas. So for that size canvas, we need roughly 30 ounces of paint. We have two 16 ounce cups that are probably filled to the 15 ounce mark. Boom, 30 ounces of paint. Plus we have our flow extensors, which we're gonna use over there. Okay, so the way that we're gonna do this, we're gonna do one wandering ring pour down the center with one cup, and then we're gonna use another cup and we're gonna go back up. So I think it's gonna be really cool. All right, I'm going to put down some of this flow extender. Let's get rid of that. Okay, well, that's much thinner. So this is the white with a little bit of gold in it, and we're gonna put a puddle of this down like a runway to pour into. Okay, I kind of feel like we need some white on top of that. Okay. Here we go. Are you ready, husband of us? <laughs> I'm so excited about this one. Here we go. Now, do I trust myself to go up or should I turn the canvas around and pull it again? I think I'm going to turn the canvas around. <laughs> I have a question of trust. <laughs> work with your strengths. Yes, there we go. Work with your strengths. Okay. So, we're going to go right back through this this way now. Are you ready, Doc? I like this part, so I'm going to leave it. I'm going to start right about here. Okay, so that's a little messy, but that's okay. So then the other cool thing that she did that I really liked was she wrecked it. Took like this and just went right through the center. That's kind of cool. Okay, so now we're going to take our flow extender. And when I was pouring this, I might put a little bit more water in there just because I want it to move a little easier. And it still seemed kind of thick to me. We're gonna go around this now. Actually, you know what? I think I wanna put a line of panes around it first.
Okay, that's one cup. So that way, if that rolls over this, we're not going to end up with a lot of like pinprick white cells coming up through our painting, which I don't really want. Let's get some on the sides. Okay, so this is looking pretty cool. I'm very happy with this. I'm just gonna wipe this off over here. So I don't get a whole bunch of white paint on me. I probably will anyway. Okay, let's torch this. But there's beautiful cells popping up in there already. Okay, so let's tilt this out now and see what happens. I really like all these lines on here though. Okay, I don't like this. Well, this is kind of looking cool now, huh? All right, let's go down that way first. I'm gonna go down off of that corner. Middle now in the center and bottom.
I like everything that's happening here. I really like this. I want to open that up a little bit. Okay, so let's take a look at this room. I'm gonna wipe my hands off so that I don't drip in it. I'm looking at it. Because I tend to point. <laughs> all right, first of all, I love the colors. I love how there's a lot of the metallic cobalt in there. That's awesome. I love that permanent blue violet from Liquitex. That's really pretty. I love this and it dries so beautifully. I really like the Payne's gray in there especially contrasting with the cobalt. And they didn't really mix because of that very thin little bit of white that we put in there. And there's silver in there too. Now this is really cool. What happened in here where the permanent blue violet mixed with some of the white and the silver and gave us that really pretty silvery pink color. This is really neat here. The contrast between the purple and the cobalt blue is awesome. And I love this part with the dark panes in the middle and that's really cool. Not so crazy about that edge. We could probably go off that edge again, but I kind of like what's happening. What do you think, honey? Do we keep this open or should I bring it back a little bit? I might lose this though if I bring it back. No, I, I like it. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting, huh? I mean, visual okay. You always say that whenever I use the purple and the metallic cobalt. Okay, let's torch this one more time. Okay, so I love this. I love what's happening here. I think it's really cool. I love that one line. Um, I almost wish it went a little bit more diagonal, but that's okay. It's cool. That part's really cool. This part's really cool. This is amazing. I love these cells that are popping up in there. I'm gonna not touch it anymore. <laughs> but this was awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here with us tonight. Please check out Julie E. It's acrylic painting with Julie E on YouTube. And I will put her link in the description box also. And, uh, you know, I'd love to start doing this with more new artists. If there's somebody that you really like and would like to see you get more well-known, please, by all means, put their link in the, in the comments and we can all check each other out and subscribe and, you know, get everybody going. So thanks so much for being here. I'll see you when this is dry. Have a great night. Okay, so this is a couple of days later. It's not completely dry, but the center is still only wet, but it is starting to dry. <laughs> this turned out so cool. I love this piece. I really, really am so happy with how it turned out. And I have to honestly say it's such a pleasure to be working with the consistency of paint that I really like rather than the really thin stuff from the swipes. So I really enjoyed doing this one, but I love what's happening in here. I love this edge right here where that quinacridone blue violet and the white and the cobalt and the Payne's gray are down there. And you just see those beautiful lines. And I love this gradation. Not a lot of cells, a few. But this turned out so pretty and that Payne's gray with metallic cobalt blue are just awesome together. Especially with the silver in there. Really cool stuff. So this turned out really fun. I'm really happy about this and I, you know, so excited about Julie E and all of her different work because she's a really really amazing artist really fun stuff on her channel I hope you guys will check her out and show her some love and uh, you know this was awesome it was really really fun so this was inspired by her to there and back Hobbit poor so we have to come up with a groovy title for this one sorry Gail has started blowing and HOA is actually hiding behind the painting <laughs> holding it up for us so that the wind doesn't take it because it is wet but this was awesome I really enjoyed this piece a lot and you can see some of that silver blinging I don't know if I'm getting the right angle for you guys to see it but it's really cool in person with the one wreck down the middle that's awesome 
So this was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for being here with us today. We appreciate you guys. We love you. This is awesome. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. And uh, take care of yourselves. See you soon.